palace says it is devastated by the tragic loss. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez live in Gramercy Park with what happened. Hazel? Well, it was just before 3 o'clock this morning when Prince Charles' brother-in-law, Mark Shand, and his friends were at Rose Bar here at the Gramercy Park Hotel. He had stepped out to smoke a cigarette and somehow lost his footing. And just hours later, Shand was dead. It was 62-year-old Mark Shand's passion for elephants that brought him to Manhattan and led to the stunning turn of events that claimed his life. Shand was in New York City for Sotheby's Fabergé egg final auction. They were raising money for Elephant Family, the organization Shand co-founded to save the endangered Asian elephant. It is all due to you that we made so much money. After the Tuesday night auction, Shand went to an after party at Diamond Horseshoe Restaurant on West 46th Street, then continued his evening with friends at Rose Bar, the posh Gramercy Park Hotel. Police say around 3 a.m. Wednesday, Shan stepped out for a cigarette outside the bar on Lexington Avenue and somehow slipped and struck his head on the sidewalk. He was rushed to Bellevue Hospital, where he was placed on life support, but later died Wednesday afternoon. More commonly known as the brother of the Duchess of Cornwall, Camilla Parker Bowles, and the brother-in-law of the future King of England, Prince Charles, Shan's death quickly hit the British tabloids. The tragedy struck the royal family as Prince Charles and his heartbroken wife, Camilla, were about to leave for a tour of Canada. Prince William and Duchess Kate had been enjoying their three-week tour of Australia. A spokesperson for the royal family released a statement saying, the Duchess, the Prince of Wales, and all her family members are utterly devastated devastated by this sudden and tragic loss. Shand was a British travel writer and conservationist. He had a love for wildlife, particularly an admiration for elephants, which led him to co-found Elephant Family. He had authored many books regarding his travels and experiences with elephants in India, and he also appeared in several documentaries sharing his expertise. Sotheby's host of last night's charity event released a statement saying they were deeply saddened by Mark Shan's death. A medical examiner will be performing an autopsy to determine his exact cause of death. We're live in Gramercy Park. Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News.